Hello from Amsterdam, Netherlands, Holland. Um, we're right by a building that says God Root You. Jesus loves you. God Root You. Jesus loves you. So I want to tell you the story. There's a man named Bruce Allen who uh, tells the story of he was praying in his house and all of a sudden he's praying and he's transported to right around here in Amsterdam but like 400 years ago during the Black Plague. And he sees a little boy outside a door right around here crying and the boy talks to him even though the boy is speaking in maybe some form of Jewish language like Yiddish, maybe he's speaking in Dutch. But the man, Bruce Allen, was able to talk to him and found out that his mother was dying of the Black Plague. And this was like 400 years ago, right in this very area. And the man convinced the husband who was keeping the son outside to go, that he could go in and the woman was Jewish and the family was Jewish. So the man talked about Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you, God wrote you. And the family was dying, the mother was gonna die, but Bruce Allen had her accept Yeshua as her savior and then prayed and laid hands on her even though she was dying of the Black Plague and she was healed and her family was healed and the little boy was healed when that whole family would have died during the Black Plague and not knowing Yeshua, having only a jaded view that they somehow were Christ killers. But instead, Jesus said, I wanted them to be saved. I wanted them to live lives. Now, you and I, we like watching Star Trek and time travel and all of that. And the number one rule of Western scientific time travel is that if you change a person's life in the past, then the future splits into infinite split universes. So Bruce Allen, he was aware of all of that. So he said, God, what happened? Did we change the future? And the Lord said, look, in the Lamb's Book of Life, this lady was saved with her family and she lived to be an old age in complete health, saved by Yeshua. And that nothing was changed. So in God's view of dealing with time travel and all of that, he takes care of people's lives without messing up the future or anything like that. So that was a revelation to me. I don't know if you believe the story or not, but we have to tell the story and share it when we're in Amsterdam, because it was no accident. The story was shared to me before the person knew that I was coming to Amsterdam. It was no accident. Another thing, is there was a huge Amsterdam Holy Spirit conference here about 10 days ago, a couple weeks ago, where people from all over the world, it was run by the president of Oral Roberts University in Power 21, Cindy Jacobs, many other prophetic leaders came. Dennis Balcom came, our friend Simon Tan came, many Holy Spirit people from Hong Kong came. And then we're following up and we're interceding and praying for Dennis Balcom's prayer that there will be a Chinese Pentecostal church that will minister to Chinese workers here, Chinese students here. The Holy Spirit will move, just like this sign says, God ruled you, Jesus loves you. Okay, right here in the middle of the tourist area, downtown Amsterdam, by the canals and everything. The Lord says, Jesus loves you, God ruled you, okay? So we're praying and interceding and we'll do one more video praying in tongues for the city of Amsterdam. So, Jesus in Amsterdam, Jesus in Holland, Netherlands, Jesus in me, Jesus in you, let's love one another, encourage one another, pray for one another, forever bless you, empower you. The Lord does miracles through the ages. Yeshua, Jesus loves you. God wrote you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.